All right, here we are at our 2009 Premier 310 Boundary Waters Sky Deck for sale. We're here on the beautiful fresh waters of Cherokee Lake, which is in East Tennessee, just east of Knoxville, Tennessee. This is about a two owner boat. I believe it spent uh, its entire life here on Cherokee Lake since it was new. And there are a ton of features and options on this one. So I normally refer you to our website anyway to find the current asking price and the full list of specifications. But this one, it's probably even more important. If you want to know everything this boat has, I'm sure I'm bound to miss something here on the video tour. So our website's very easy to navigate. If you take the time, open up a new tab or a new window, type in www.yournewboat.com, hit enter, let that load. You'll see some orange lettering. Look for the Find Your New Boat button in the top left-hand corner of the page. And once you click that, it's going to load all of our inventory and order price, and you're not going to be overwhelmed. This is basically just boats, uh, mostly in the East Tennessee area. So if you just scroll down a little bit, you're going to see a good photo of this boat out from under this covered slip. We're at a private residence today. And we'll have some photos of this, basically a 360-degree shot of this boat uh, just outside the slip, so you'll be able to see it a lot better current asking price will be right there you're going to recognize it right away because of the sky deck on this one and again you'll be able to click into that listing and see all the features that it has i'm going to do my best to point everything out to you today but i'm just saying this one's so loaded up i'm probably going to miss something and we don't monitor the youtube comment page so if you do have questions you'll also want to uh, contact us through our website you'll be able to reach out to us by phone by text or by email all right so moving on this is a tritune not only is this a tritune, this is a PTX model. And the PTX that Premier makes, these are essentially designed to handle like boats and not as pontoons. Typical pontoon is going to need about a football field to, to turn around. And with the PTX, this will actually bank a little bit in the turns. And this is powered with twin Yamaha 350 horsepower four-stroke outboard motors. So you got to combine 700 horsepower on this. I believe we've got about 27 inch diameter outer pontoons and the center pontoon is about a 42 inch diameter also appears to have about six inch lifting strikes on the outer pontoons and that's what's going to help make this perform more like a boat so there's two entry gates on this one you've got one right here on the port side and one on the stern of the boat you've got the option to have a third entry gate up here on the bow and Premier essentially has a seat filler where instead of that entry gate, um, right there what's in the center of your screen now is basically a seat that's been put in, in that place. This seat can be removed if you'd rather have the gate. And then on the other side of that, what you were looking at a minute ago, that's a powered winch. It's basically an electric winch or a, you know, you'll often hear that referred to as a windless anchor. I've got the interior courtesy lights turned on we've got basically a, an ottoman right here in the center and that's sitting over top of a low-end floor storage locker and that locker is missing its handle I just want to point that out but here's that storage locker and that goes back a pretty good ways so that could be used for ski storage and then here's basically just some extra storage um, anchor in mind. We'll slide this ottoman back in place. We've also got removable snapping carpeting that's over top of just a uh, low maintenance vinyl floor. We've got some of these movable cup holders and I believe I counted about 20 cup holders counting the these movable cup holders and the removable lounge tables. Now with the sky deck, you essentially have a hard top over the probably the rear half or rear third of the boat. And then up here on the front, there's an additional bimini top in place. And of course that can be folded up. There's also a canvas enclosure that will enclose the entire lower level of this boat. And that's also gonna include basically a uh, connecting piece right here in between this bimini top and it's going to come just underneath this side of the of that remote spotlight 
We've got the flex steel seats and seat bases. You got a convenient little integrated little waist bin. That flap right there, a lot of times you have to pull those out. I like how that one, you just push it right in. There's your waist bin. We've got these flex steel dual recliners. These are going to recline um, and swivel. I'll have some photos of that at the website. That's a removable lounge table in between the two. And then back over here near your helm station, not only do you have a rod holder mounted to the side, you've got a little uh, integrated paper towel holder. It doubles as a drink holder right there. You've got a small little sink with the pressure water system. We've got a Norcold AC DC refrigerator. A little bit of a storage locker here. And then also you've got this Sony. This is an AM FM CD stereo satellite ready. We've got a driver remote. Here's your uh, remote spotlight control. That's a handheld control. Two more cup holders right here. That's your driver seat. Three more in this lounge table. And then a large captain's chair. And that's it's sometimes people call this a companion captain seat because it basically means there's room for two of you here. Tilt steering wheel here at your driver's station, a Ritchie Compass. This one is rated for 24, if I didn't say that already. The uh, capacity plate always reminds me to do so when I get near the helm station. Another stainless cup holder right here. You've got uh, your anchor control, fire extinguisher mounted right there at the driver's feet. And this is a low Lowrance LMS 50, or 520. This is a sonar and chart plotter. So you've got a GPS map. I've got the dual screens up right here. You can basically have either one of these screens um, or the combination of both. This is a fish finder and depth finder showing we're in 12 and a half feet of water, water temp 74.8 degrees. And then here's your GPS chart plotter on this side. You can zoom out and that's also going to tell you your GPS speed as well. So tilt steering wheel, here's your Sony uh, driver stereo. And right up here above this Ritchie Compass, we do have a functional horn. Well, the key's got to be on. I did function test everything on this boat. Speakers all worked. Courtesy lights worked. Navigation lights all worked. Horn worked. The only thing that did not work, to my knowledge, is the docking lights. Um, so, actually, let me turn this key so you can show the current engine hours. Whoops. So, this is also going to show live fuel uh, usage data, your fuel flow. 161 hours showing on the port side engine, 162 hours showing on the starboard side engine. Um, and again, you're gonna have GPS speedometer right here. And again, that live uh, fuel fuel usage rate um, in the gallons per hour. This one I'm told uh, when the pontoons are completely clean has uh, can hit speeds in the low 50 mile an hour range um, with, with clean pontoons. I'm going to leave some of these switches on right here. Those are our courtesy lights, uh, switches and this, uh, low rants is running off one of those. Actually, we're done with that one. I believe that's your low rant switch. So that one's off. I'll leave the courtesy light switches on for now. That helm is also raised up a little bit. Um, and that's going to help the driver see over, uh, the bow of the boat, especially whenever he's got a lot of people on board. So remote spotlight, I mentioned that. We've got some cargo nets kind of mounted to the under uh, side of the sky deck. Integrated lighting in there. Another removable lounge table right here. There's uh, four stereo speakers down here on the lower level, two more upstairs, making a total of six. And then you've also got another recliner. There's three recliners on this one. There's another recliner right there. And the options don't stop there. We've also got a built-in microwave, an inverter down here. That's gonna help power some of these accessories whenever you're away from the dock. You've also got a 30 amp shore power plug and an onboard battery charger. Here's your inverter panel right now. Now, right now the inverter is, does not have batteries. Those batteries will actually mount. Uh, there's room for two of them. They're gonna mount just below that seat right there. Um, you've got some nice storage compartments here, integrated sink, um, more integrated cup holders, a uh, little soap dispenser, and then I've got these lights on right here. You've got kind of some accent lights up here on this bar. Um, 
outlet there, 12 volt power outlet here, another, uh, another integrated paper towel holder that also doubles as a cup holder. Um, and all these courtesy lights are all controlling this switch right here. All right, moving along. This is our pop-up changing room. Normally, you're gonna see probably a porta potty in here. Not only does this one have a marine head, this has a vacuum flush marine head, which if you ever have the option, uh, trust me, that's the one you want. Um, and that's gonna make your life easier. Now here's the waste holding tank. So you've got a pump out built in. Um, and then I believe that, that uh, small little waste tank can also uh, be removed by hand and you can dump it um, that way as well. So you can pull into a pump out or you've got the option to kind of disconnect that and move it. So vacuum flush head in a tri-tune. This one, I believe for a 2009 model was probably well ahead of its time probably an option you can get in new boats today but I'm not aware of any other any other uh tritune uh manufacturers that were that were adding the vacuum flush at this time i could be wrong all right so here's your sky deck two more uh large lounge seats here we've got that same snap-in carpeting low maintenance vinyl flooring up here as well there's a look just over the front and again that area right there that's um, where you can see the lower level that can be filled in with a uh, with another piece of canvas Now while I'm up here, I do want to point out some wear and tear get a little bit here a little bit here in your vinyl I think there was one more spot. Yeah, right over here on this side. This one is showing a little bit of wear in some places This is also a freshwater boat aluminum pontoons and here's your water slide I believe there's three separate water pumps on board this one. You've got one just for the water slide. And I'm gonna head back down to the lower level now. You kind of see where that slide's going in between those two Yamaha 350 horsepower four stroke engines. Low time on those again, 162 hours. Let's see, I already showed you that hatch. I need to raise this one right here. Here's where you've got two batteries, battery switch. Okay, and then you can see, uh, so that pump right there is just for the toilet and then you got another pump right here for the slide you've got a small uh looks like about a oh five six gallon water tank right there and over here you've got a separate uh water tank and i, I believe this is comes off about a five gallon yeah here's about a five gallon um, fresh water tank that you can carry on board that's going off this sink right here. Close that. Now we've got a synthetic teak flooring as we get back here to the swim deck. And then this ladder that's right here, that's a full, uh, four step fold down ladder, that will uh, kind of mount right here whenever you're out uh, swimming. And you know, if you got kids using the slide and whatnot. Fuel tank's just underneath the slide, and this is an 86 gallon uh, fuel tank. That's just a, a hatch to, to be able to access that. And here's your slide and this big giant Yamaha four stroke, 350 horsepower outboards. All right, I'm gonna start pointing out the, the wear and tear that we've noticed on this one. Um, actually, let me. Let me go ahead and go through the interior. You got a little bit of staining right here on the vinyl and a little bit back here on this sun pad. A little bit of wear. I believe, with the exception of the captain seat, most of your your vinyl down here, that well, the captain seat and, and the back part of that sun pad, which is where it's out kind of in the weather a little bit more than the other parts of the boat. Everything else up here looks good. Let me go ahead and step off the side get you a better look over here so I showed you that just a minute ago I'm outside the boat now and here's this other place right back here where it's catching the most weather and those two seams right there and a little bit of a crack on that engine cowling on this port side engine that's gotten into a dock at some point in time and missing a little bit of the decal emblem there in Premier. And a little 
little bit of vinyl stickers and some more of this decaling up here. This also has the aluminum underskin splash guard. That actually helps cut back on the wind drag. And then this uh, this front uh, top piece of that pontoon looks like it's had a little bit of a um, rub against the dock and it's been a little bit. Again, the docking lights, I believe the only thing on here um, that did not pass function testing. And then we've got a little bit of an impact up here on this. This would be the starboard side corner. And it's bent that uh, that decking just a little bit. You can see there, pontoons all appear to be in good shape. So again, that's a 42 inch diameter center pontoon with the PTX package and the lifting strikes, about 27 inch diameter on the outer pontoons. Uh, oh, and then here's, so underneath this helm uh, station, you've got an onboard battery charger. And that is just a plug-in just for the battery charger. And then you've got a separate 30 amp plug-in right here that's gonna power everything else on this boat. The Premier Emblem's right there showing a little bit of wear as well. So again, uh, I invite you to reach out to our, or as um, you visit our website, a few little scratches right there where that ladder goes. And I'll be sure to have all the specs listed there. If you've got questions, please reach out to us. Um, uh, I'll have some really good shots of this one out from under the dock at the website where you can kind of see the full 360 of this one. This really catches your eye out on the water. Um, low, low hours, a lot of power on this one. Oh, and there is a custom trailer included with this. I'll try to get my hands on the trailer. The trailer is actually stored indoors and it was a trailer uh, built custom for this boat. Um, this is a tall boat and it is a wide boat. It's 10 feet wide, it's a 10 foot beam, about 31 feet long, it's probably going to be about a 30, oh, probably about a 33 LOA when you count in the uh, the outboard motors. So that's going to start to wrap things up for us here today. Again, this is the 2009 Premier 310 Boundary Water Sky Deck PTX Tritune for sale here on Cherokee Lake in East Tennessee. That uh, your new boat logo in the top right hand corner will subscribe you to our YouTube channel. And I thank you very much for joining us.